is half-life. Half-life is the time for half of the nuclei of a particular isotope to decay. We can measure this in three units. Mass, which is measured in grams, percentage, which we measure in percentage, and fractions. The half-life of an isotope is a constant. It is unaffected by any chemical or physical conditions. It does not change. Example 1, we have polonium-218, which is an alpha-emitting radioisotope. After six minutes, the mass of the radioisotope was found to be an eighth of the original sample. What is the half-life of the radioisotope? So we have to start with our original fraction. So for our original, we always start with one. It undergoes one half-life to produce a half. This will have to undergo a second half-life. Half of a half is a quarter. A third half-life will give us an eighth. So this has underwent three half-lives. If the total time taken was six minutes, to work out each half-life, we do six minutes divided by three half-lives, which means each half-life is a total of two minutes. Example two, a mosquito fed on a solution containing phosphorus-32 is released. Phosphorus-32 has a half-life of 14 days. When the mosquito is captured 28 days later, what fraction of the phosphorus 32 will remain? So we know we're working in fractions, so we always start with 1. If it undergoes one half life, which is a total of 14 days, the fraction left over will be a half. If it undergoes a second half life, that will give us a total of 28 days, which is given in the question. That means that the final fraction of the phosphorus 32 will be a quarter. This last example, we have potassium-41, which has a half-life of 30 seconds. What fraction of activity will remain after two minutes? So we know we're working in fractions, so we're going to start with one. If it undergoes one half-life, which is 30 seconds, we'll have a half left over. If it undergoes a second half-life, that will give us a total of one minute, which will leave a quarter. If it went a third half-life, that would be one minute 30 seconds, which would leave an eighth. And then if it underwent a fourth half-life, that will give us our total of two minutes. So the final fraction will be a sixteenth. This past paper questions from the National 5 2018 written 12b. A paper manufacturer found a thallium-204 source only had a sixteenth of its original activity. The half-life of the thallium is 3.7 years. Calculate the age in years of the source. So we can see from the question that we're working in fractions. So the initial that we're going to work with is 1. If it underwent one half-life, which was a total of 3.7 years, it would have a half remaining. If it underwent a second half-life, that would give us a total of 7.4 years, which would leave a quarter. If it underwent a third half-life, that would give us a total of 11.1 .1 years and leave an eighth. And it would have to undergo a fourth half-life, which would give us a total of 14.8 years, which will give us our final fraction, which is given in the question as a sixteenth. So the answer is 14.8 years. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2014, written 5b. The half-life of source 3 is 8 days. Calculate the fraction of source 3 that would remain after 16 days. Show you're working clearly. We can see that we're working in fractions. So we always start with 1. If it undergoes one half life, which is a total of 8 days, it would leave a half. If it un underwent a second half life, that will give us a total of 16 days, which is given in the question. The final fraction will be a quarter. 